Hi Pisces, it's Gwen and I'm tuning in for a love reading for your sign. I hope this reading finds you well. Um, I love my Pisces tribe, that's my rising sign, just so you know. Um, and this could be general love reading today, so take what resonates and leave the rest. If you want your own personal private love reading, I do those too. All my information's in the box below. You can contact me on Instant Messenger. I other I have other chat. Um, like I'm on Instagram. I'm on TikTok now. So you can email me, and I'll get you booked. Dropping a comment below actually gets you entered into a chance to win a free reading from me. I give away one of those each month. So I love your comments. Comments help the channel to grow. Thank you for helping this channel to grow. Thank you for helping me to get these messages out, Pisces. I love you so much. So um, cross watchers, you're welcome in these love readings too. You could be dealing with a Pisces and these messages could be for you. So take the messages how they resonate. Don't try to... Don't try to make the story fit. If it's not yours, it's not yours this time, okay? That's why I offer private ones. So, today I'm using Love Notes from the Universe. It's a deck that I channeled and created, uh, co-created with Spirit, okay? And it helps me to see what's going on in a particular love situation. We're talking about all kinds of relationships here. Um, so, but I'm focusing on love, okay? Okay. And interesting how they came out, and I'll go over that. These cards are also color-coded, so that speaks to our chakra system, and it is a message in itself, the color systems. The color synchronicities, like if multiple messages come out with the same color, okay? Then there's a need to focus on that energy, that color, that chakra system. So, um, first of all, overall energy, I got two oracle cards for you from the Whispers of Love oracle um card 20 and card 12 so there's a couple of twos there twos are about choices decisions duality um relationships okay and if this is a special message card 20 special message <laughs> you a little tongue-tied are you a little tongue-tied pisces or is somebody a little tongue-tied about saying these three words i love you somebody's in love Okay, it, this feels like a destined divine love connection, a connection that's like it's in the stars, right? It's music to your soul. The harp here brings peace to your soul. I love you. These are powerful words. It's about expressing these words. It's also a very special card to come out. It is what, what drew me to the deck. This is the image on the back of all the cards, okay? The exact same image here. So there's a person in your life that is very much a mirror for you, very much a destined divine soul connection, and you're in love, or they're in love, and they're they're finding ways to express it. Maybe they express it through music, okay? Beautiful melodies. This also landed on the underlying energy today of the deck, love notes. So love notes, like, yeah, and a little arrow there, like somebody's been struck by Cupid Zero, love at first sight. Um, and, and your angels and your guardian angel and your ancestors are, this is just a special time for you to know that they are with you. They love you firstly, Pisces. This is your sign, 1111. Okay. Okay. This is also showing me with that orange here that a lot, um, the Pisces collective is healing a lot to the sacral chakra the power center the creation center look at all that gold energy rainbow your sign it's right there okay and this is about a transformation happening my loves with all these butterflies that i see here in this next card have faith trust your faith in this situation it's as if you are magically lifted look at this to the golden your golden road okay See how this fairy is like, she's got ribbons that connect her to these butterflies. I mean, this is massive transformation with all these butterflies. And butterfly is also a symbol of a spirit around you, angels around you, twice here. Okay? Have more faith. Trust your faith in the situation, in this situation. A feeling of floating here. A feel, yeah of ease, of what is mine is mine, 
You know, this is my golden road. I see it clearly. Eyes closed, trusting spirit. See that? Mmm. Beautiful. Card 12. Three frequency. You are co-creating with spirit here, my loves. Okay? Maybe you're seeing the numbers 212, right? We've already saw 11, 11 out here today. 22. Okay? All right. So those are your oracle cards. That's focus on expressing your love, saying the words I love you, and having more faith in your particular love situation. If you're not with the rela in a relationship, then this is all about healing to the inner child here. There's a transformation here. You knowing you're connected with spirit here as well. Okay? The card that flew out in the past, they flew, these cards flew out when I shuffled in certain ways and it was important. I have four separate piles here. We're talking about home foundations. I feel a, a lot of movement in this card. Being magically uplifted and transported to a new destination here. Travel being depicted there. Okay? And four frequency here. Mm -hmm. Home foundations is talking about our four bodies as well. Mental, emotional, physical, spiritual bodies. Okay? You're pouring in the past energy what flew out is unconditional love. The, in this connection, okay, there is unconditional love. And it happened somewhere in the recent past. You discovered this unconditional love. Okay? Could be of self, could be with another. It's green. It's talking to a heart healing. Okay? You surrendered to love. Or somebody else did here because I have the seven of wands, seven of inspiration in the reverse. That's the surrender card in my, my deck, okay? Surrendering to love. Cannot fight it. <laughs> That's all what came out in the past. Here in the present moment, the four cards that I have, these are the ones that landed on the table face up at me. So these are clarities. These are what you see in this moment, in this connection, okay? Or that you've experienced already in this connection. It's clear. The, the cards are face up. Along with a group of cards that were face down, which tells me these are the things left unsaid, things that haven't been spoken about, things that need to be healed, okay? And we'll go over those. And then I have one card for your future energy, Pisces, okay? So in the present moment, this you may find this person, and this is where you're really going to know if, if I'm talking to your, you know, about your connection. Take what resonates, leave the rest for somebody else, okay? There's sweetness in this connection. You're sweet on this person. The, this person loves the sweetness of your inner child, sweetness. This person is a sweet treat. You find this person sweet. Please open your heart to the new you. These are both pink energy cards. It's talking about self-care, a heart expansion as well, okay? The pink energy. So somebody could be um, mending wounds around a heart, a broken heart, and trying to open up to love again, okay? You see that this person is guarded. I'm just going to say you because you're here, Pisces, okay? Flip it around how you need to, okay? Okay. Um, you see the sweetness in this person, but you also see that, um, they're ha they're like a bit guarded in regards to expressing love. Somebody is, but somebody is super cheesy, super goofy, and it's very clear and you've enjoyed moments of that. This person feels like a sunshine, a brand new beginning. It's a yellow energy. I feel comfortable in my own skin around this person. That's the cheese energy in my deck. And this person is like bundles of bliss. Extended bliss. <laughs> okay? Like child heart energy, enthusiasm for life. A clown-like character, but also very sweet. Who's a guarded. And, you know, and in the present moment, you've been building three of materials. Okay, can are like it's like showing two paths coming together, like 
even I feel like a distant connection here, like a distant travelers. A, do, when will our paths intertwine? Can we build this connection? We know we've already experienced some of this, and it looks like a lot of fun, sweet, initial kind of energy here. Especially, I mean, it's <sighs> these same colors here. Colors, colors, it's important, okay? It feels like Easter and springtime colors, right? Bright, rainbow, delicious, Skittle-like colors, candy colors. <laughs> Three of Pentacles. Building it to cooperation. Willing to work on something. Three of, Three of Pentacles, okay? So then let's talk about um, all this. This is a big stack of messages. I don't even know what they are yet. I've got two clarifying cards. Somebody's in their head. Five of voices, five of swords. It's a mental battle right now. Should I express these truths or not? Somebody might be playing victim. There's a mental battle. There's a battle between the heart and the mind. There's a there's an offering here though, like a brand new beginning or a peace offering even coming. Okay. Five of Swords could be about arguments, passive aggressiveness, mental, mental battle, mental, okay? Men mental mind games, okay? Are you playing mind games with yourself or somebody else playing in mind games? Well, then there's this peace offering, this new beginning here, that coming in, this helping hand, a solution even, the, okay? So what's underneath that? Yeah, a brand new beginning, the magician, I just flipped it over. A new mindset, a new beginning. Magician is childlike energy again. I like seeing that magician there. All right, here, let's get into this. I'm kind of like hesitant. I'm like, oh, God, what's all this going to be? I'm Pisces, I'm Pisces rising. I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> Did you check out my artwork right here, too? Mm-hmm. I felt like it was appropriate for this reading. Yeah, I'm like, and, that's, and I'm talking about it now. That's so funny. I got to chill. Hold on. Let the chill go through me. <laughs> yep. Truth, chills, whatever, like, look at that masculine right there in the head. And, like, that's this. The mental battle being depicted there. Okay? Okay. Five of Swords can also be a competition, ego, right? Comparing and that sort of thing. Could be some jealousy. I don't know. All right. Let's say anything this person somebody wants to be really romantic and express themselves loquaciously Ooh, oh, say anything with music somebody wants to communicate through music say anything I'm talking about that movie with john cusack in it with the boombox in your eyes in your eyes that yes romance mm-hmm they're holding it back. It ain't here on the table. It was face down, and they're not doing it. Somebody not doing it. Nobody. Somebody's holding back their words. Say anything. Sometimes I have trouble coming up with the words to express my love. It's a truth. It's white and blue. Okay? Maybe they just need some. Somebody needs to just say that. It's say this. Okay? Another white Yes, exclamation point, yes, add excitement, somebody's shocked, somebody's in awe, right, exclamation point, pay attention, some surprises may be in store, exclamation point, it's blue and white again, and uh, the spiral there at the point is, it's like this triangular is focused on this point this center and the spiral there is about a pattern look at the pattern take a step back and look at the pattern it's a big red or uh, not red blue triangle and like here it is it's like pointing to this pattern here oh. i already said there's mind control at play and it has something to do with the sacral, man. Yeah, because it's all this orange energy here. 
Does somebody feel powerless in a situation? Mind control. That's the five of swords there as well. Love is what you do. So, again, a card that was face down, not happening. Somebody's not showing up. Somebody's not putting the actions out there or the words right now. It's like, it could be a separation. You were building. You were having some fun. There's unconditional love rooted here in the past. And now there's just... Yeah, well, new beginnings coming. It was face down, though, that magician. Okay, you're unaware of that yet. Love is what you do. Purr. Right now, you could be focusing on what makes you purr. What lights you up. What makes you feel warm. Also, there's, in the connection, there's somebody likes to cuddle. It's like a cuddle cat, the purr. Somebody makes you purr. Their love is in, in, um, enduring uh, or feels good, right? Like the intimacy is, is here with the purr. Um, also, the purr like, uh, is a cat energy, and cats are here to balance negative energy. When they purr, they're balancing energy. So um, transmuting energy is what I'm saying. So there's a need to focus on self-care here with that purr. Okay, tenderly touch and love yourself here. Okay, self-care, purr, make yourself happy, big smiley face. Okay. Now, there is no, no heart on the back of this one. Woo, wonder what this one is. There's no heart. Like, on all the backs of my cards, I drew a heart. Now, I'm just noticing this one doesn't have one. Where's the love? I will never stop trying. It really makes me feel like, oh, somebody's super obsessed. I will never stop trying. I will never give up. I will never, 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 never. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. With that heart missing there, I'm like, hmm, it's kind of giving me a weird vibe. Like, yeah. Stalker almost energy. I will never stop trying. Hmm. Trust your intuition more. two peas in a pod. This also came out for the Aquarius reading. You could have Aquarius in your chart. So like there's a, you like to be around this person's energy. You both are very similar two peas in a pod, right? Being close to, you want to be close to this person. There's unconditional love rooted there. It's the same color as this unconditional love in the past. I point out these synchronicities in the colors, in the color coding here. Was there some sort of mind games being played about bundles of bliss? This is the last one. Somebody is jaded about love, but not expressing it. Somebody's got a chip on their shoulder about love. Remember, we've talked about this in the <clears throat> already about opening your heart to the new you. Somebody has some jadedness, and it's a deep red color, and it's suppressed uh, anger or suppressed emotions, possibly. So that was the truth sunset or what's going on in a particular love connection for you, Pisces. And now in the future here, one card out, and that is a song. The music continues to flow through here, and it's the Goo Goo Dolls. I don't listen to them very much or never did listen to them much, but it's the phrase... You are the closest to heaven that I'll ever be. And I don't want the world to see me because the, then okay, I don't want the world to see me. So, okay, come on, give me the song, man. Closest. Something about not wanting the world to see the true you is the is one of the other lyrics that's coming up. You are the closest to heaven that I'll ever be. So there is this sense of um, someone not feeling like there's an imbalance there about worth, like feeling out of their league. I feel I feel like like that movie say anything. He felt very much out of her league. Uh-huh, in the connection here. You are the closest to heaven. Like, this person thinks you are perfection. Heaven, it's bliss. It's 
and how are they worthy and deserving of this? Um, yeah, so I feel like somebody's still processing some pain from the past. It's right here to clarify you are the closest to heaven that I'll ever be. It's in the reverse. They're in the process of ten of swords energy. That's yeah, healing heartbreak. There's all been a lot of past trauma, like been through it, lies, deceit, betrayal, that kind of thing. It's sideways and learning about your own strength, Leo energy, sun energy, okay, lion energy in your life again, being courageous and bold, embracing new beginnings. You are strong. Okay, but yeah, strength is also about when we battle with some of our own um, inner demons. And then the next card out in the deck, eight, nine, is going into that hermit mode. Yeah, to reflect and figure out what we want in life again on our spiritual path, the hermit energy. So... Anyways, that's what I have for you today, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, I did. And if you did, drop me a comment down below. Remember to reach out to me if you need your own love reading. Until I see you again, take good care of you, Pisces. I love you.